Yo, what's up, everybody? This is International Master Daniel Wrench with Chess.com, and today we're here for another two-minute drill. Let's learn how to play the Rui Lopez. White starts with the move 1e4, the most common move in the history of chess. And after black's most common response, e5, white immediately begins putting pressure on the center. Black naturally develops a piece which also defends a pawn, and immediately after the move bishop e5, we have reached the Rui Lopez or the Spanish game, as it's also known. The idea is very simple. White is not only threatening the knight here, but by attacking this piece, white is also indirectly increasing his pressure on the dark swords in the center, particularly the e5 pawn. Black can respond with counterplay in the opening, and often should with the move a6. The idea being that white is not able to eliminate the knight uh, immediately with the idea of winning the pawn, as black will simply win this pawn back with check and equalize or have an advantage in the center. Therefore, white retreats the bishop, and after the move knight f6, continuing counterattacking ideas, white castles, black doesn't risk capturing this pawn too early as it opens up the center and often creates issues for the king. So after the move bishop e7, white needs to officially defend this pawn. Therefore, this pawn is defended. Now black also needs to defend the e5 pawn. The best way to do so is to move b5, and after bishop e3 castles, we have nearly reached the main line Chagorin defense of the Rui Lopez. Here white these days will often play the move 8h3 as a means to prevent the martial attack, which is another video here in our two-minute drill selection on our YouTube channel. Um, if white plays c3 instead of the move h3, black can either play the martial, which again you can check that out in our library here, or continue with main line ideas with the move d6 defending the e5 pawn white wants to expand in the center and increase his space but before doing so needs to prevent the move bishop g4 h3 is played and after knight a5 bishop c2 c5 and d4 both sides have naturally expanded and developed their pieces and here are the critical ideas for the future of this position for white are to develop and maneuver this knight around heading to one of these two squares not only with access to these weak light squares but also hoping for a potential attack against black's king. Often black's idea is to simply complete development and either build on the tension here in the center, hoping for white to sort of break and either either capture on e5 or c5, or at some point expand on the queen side with an attack. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you around on chess.com.